Pat's Two Cents with an amazing breakthrough. Yesterday morning, I, um, you know, just got up. I had a long weekend of, of, um, sin. Falling into the same sin and falling the same habit. Uh, basically sexual habit. Um, falling back into pornography and doing things that I shouldn't do. And I always knew that I was opening doors, but until I had to have the experience I had yesterday morning, now I know that we definitely open doors when we do things and when we sin, just in general, sin definitely open doors and it creates strongholds when you're constantly doing, knowingly that you aren't supposed to be doing. So anyways, I woke up yesterday morning about eight o'clock and my mother was just walking in, walking in, in, into the house. And I just said, hey, good morning to her. But when I um, I laid on the couch and I was having those sexual thoughts in my head because what I was doing all weekend, looking at stuff that I should be looking at and doing things I shouldn't be doing. So as I was sitting on the couch, I said, you know what, I'm going to rebuke these thoughts. And I started rebuking them in my head. I started saying, I rebuke these thoughts in, in, in the name of Jesus. I rebuke these thoughts. I rebuke these thoughts. And I noticed that my heart rate started beating fast. And I started breathing weird, like inhaling and exhaling kind of heavy and weird. Like I normally don't breathe like that because I have asthma. So I can't really breathe like that. I have a hard time breathing. Well, I don't have asthma no more. And that's that's an, that's also a part of the uh, experience. But so I started breathing heavy and I just went along with it because when Pat has told me, she always told me to just go along with it when you get delivered. Because that's the first thing I thought. I'm like, am I getting delivered? Like, what is, what's going on? And I laid myself on the floor and I let out this scream and it all, and it, it followed by a cry, a literal cry. And it wasn't me. Like, I, I literally was just breathing and I was naturally doing all this. I started breathing heavy and and and, 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 and and screaming and my mother heard it. She heard it all, so she witnessed it. And in the midst of it, you know, I thought it was over and I called Pat and I told her what was going on and Pat started praying for me and I went back into it. And I was but the one thing I would like to say is that God is in in this situation, God had me in control. I wasn't over overtaken by this, this demon. Or the spirit, or whatever these the, the spirits, or whatever, I, I I had the control to stop it because, like I said, I was able to get up and pick up the phone and call Pat. So I was able to come out of it and and go right back into it. But I was screaming to the top of my lungs. I was screaming in ways that I know I I was I was wet, like welling in ways that I know I can't. Like I said, I couldn't do at the time because I had asthma, so I couldn't I couldn't do what I was doing. Breathing like that and screaming like that for a long time. I was screaming for like a long time between each scream. Uh, take a quick breath in and then I continue to scream again. And so when Pat started praying for me, I started growling. Mind you, I'm just in me, Rashad. I'm just breathing, but there's noise coming out of my mouth. It's not just uh, air. It's just me making screaming and, and growling. So I knew I knew that wasn't me doing that. And Pat told me that I need to get by myself and continue this on. So I, what I did was I got off the phone with her. I shared this. I also I shared it with some, I shared it with someone else. But I got off the phone and I went in the car and I sat and I started I started it up again because I, I felt it still a little bit on me. So I, that's that's what prompted me to continue on because I felt like it was I, I wasn't through yet. And so I sat in the car and I started um, rebuking, uh, like rebuking the thoughts, the sexual thoughts, because that's what that was. And he started doing it again. And I started breathing in front of my heart rate was going was going really fast. And I'm breathing in and out really heavy and started actually started breathing faster now. And that's when at some point I started blowing out air like like take just think of you blowing a balloon, right? Blowing into a balloon. I started doing that, or blowing really, really hard and free, like a 
and it was even now I can't do it like I was doing it. It was just it was so it was just I was it, I don't know what that was or how I was doing it like that, but I believe at that point the Holy Spirit took over and started actually exhaling the demon out right. or the demons. Right. Because once I did that, I started feeling that peace or that that weightless mm-hmm. felt like something came off me. And my mother even said I looked different. Mm-hmm. And at, before that. I've always feared God in a way, not in a way where the Bible says to fear him. I feared him like doom, like I was done, like I'm going to hell. Like, it, there's no way. I don't care what, what I say or how many times I pray. I just couldn't shake that feeling of going to hell. And now I can say I am totally set free from those thoughts. I don't feel like that no more. I feel like now I feel like I'm going to heaven now. I, I don't feel I don't have a fear of God in a way where I felt like he was going like I didn't want to see him. See, those fears I know now was not mine. Those fears were from the devil. Mm-hmm. Those are those are from demons because that's how they feel. They they the fear they have is fear that they're doomed. Yeah. When God says fear him, we fear him for his authority, reverence, and who he is. Not that he's going to hurt us or kill us. That's what the demons. They're in that boat. They're going to hell. And they're going to burn for all of eternity. But we don't. The believers, we don't. I haven't gotten a confirmation yet, but I feel like I may may have been delivered from asthma. Because I, I'm still I'm able to breathe better than I did before. For a while, I've, I've been uh, Pat. Pat can be um, a, a witness to it that I've been having breathing issues really bad since 2017. But it all started back in 2017, and I've been it was worse because I've had asthma all my life, but it's never been that bad. Starting in 2017, I had all kind of issues breathing, and for some reason, I, I, I that's the first thing I that came out my mouth was that I was delivered from asthma. Uh huh. That's but what but fast forward you know later on yesterday i spoke with well no today i spoke with aretha one of our um, church members and she told me she don't know she just feel like in her spirit that i was delivered from the spirit of perversion and, and when i tell you i i feel like i have a more of a control over my thoughts now like i feel like now like when we get delivered that don't mean that we don't get tempted still. We don't get, because the devil knows what we, you know, what we got delivered from. So he's going to always try to bring that back. Right. So what we got to fill ourselves with the word of God and with the Holy Spirit and get stronger and stronger and stronger. But I feel like now, I feel like, a, I feel a difference. Like, I feel like I don't want to go and look at porn no more. I don't, I don't want them demons to come back. So I, that, that's, I'll be at this point, if I was to go back to that, I'll be stupid. Straight stupid. <laughs> Because God said and delivered me from that, for me to go right back to it. I don't care what happened. I, I, I'm that's why I'm praying to God to to keep me on this path because I don't ever want to go back living like that, being miserable. Mm-hmm. And God's still working on me. He's still working on me. I, I'm I'm dealing with it because I was dealing with the even later on yesterday. I was dealing with the spirit of fear and doubt was coming over me, and I had to rebuke that. And so I'm still fighting. It's still a fight. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I've gotten, uh, I finally got a sucker punch on the devil this time. Hello. Because normally, yeah, normally it's been the other way around, but now it's just, <laughs> I finally got a hit. I finally wounded one of the demons, like yes. finally got him. And they didn't expect that. Mm-hmm. I didn't expect that, but it was all under God's time. It wasn't nothing I did. Yeah, I chose to, re- to do the repenting thing and the re- rebuking, I mean, the thought in my head. But I've done it before and it's never happened. So this was all under God's timing. Right. So a lot of times God allow us to go through some things for a while Jeez. so that later on we can be strong in that area because we went through it. So sometimes yes. we when he don't deliver us from that right then and there, it's pretty much already done. But we got to kind of go through the motion. We got to kind of go through the time that God has ordained Christ. for us to experience what we are experiencing until another until a time comes when we when, when we do make a choice to rebuke the thoughts that he he, that's when God, whenever he's read it, that's when he turned, he, 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 he says today is your day to get delivered from that. But it's going to be a work on my part to continue on. Like now, I would like to say I was given a prophetic dream. I saw myself delivered two or three months ago. I had a dream that I was getting delivered from demons. And in the dream, I felt like how I feel today. So uh, God has given me a prophetic dream two or three months ago regarding this day. I, did, I thought it was just a dream. But Pat told me, uh, even though it's a dream, a lot of things still is spiritual. It still it still means that it worked in the spiritual realm. It, it may it, it symbolized something in the spiritual realm. So even when we have dreams about deliverances, don't think that it's not doesn't mean anything because it means something. 
in the spiritual realm, it means something. When you rebuking a demon and you actually able to cast a demon out in your dream, that means that you are actually experiencing something in the spiritual realm. And I also would like to add on, even though I said that I'm dealing with fear, I just remember in that dream, and God just reminded me that I didn't have any fear in that dream. So that's my next deliverance is from fear. And I already claimed that deliverance, but I just remember that not only did I felt free from, from uh, you know, from perversion in the dream, but I also did not have any fear of demons at all. It was just like I didn't think of having fear. So that's my next thing. I, I believe God is going to heal me from that as well. Mm -hmm. And he already has done it. But I got to, like I said, I go through the motions and I got to, you know, get to that point. I got to, I got to pray, but it's all Jesus that's doing it. It's all on his time. Wow. Wow. That's, that's my wow. Testimony. It almost brought tears to my eyes. That's wonderful, Rashad. Yes. Praise God for that. I want to say praise God. This is Lynette. Praise God for that. And I will continue, I will continue to pray for you, too. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lynn, it, it, it happened, man. It happened. It's unbelievable. <laughs> we unbelievable. unbelievable. Yes. Yep. Wow. I've, been, I've been counseling that Rashad since what year, Rashad? Since about 2015? 2015 is when I first spoke with you, yes. Yes, and uh, oh my goodness, he, he had a whole bunch of issues to battle through, and for him to fight through and fight through the battle of discouragement all this time, the one thing I can say is all through it, Rashad has been faithful, Rashad has gotten angry, and Rashad has still been faithful and coming and coming and coming, and I would say, when you don't feel it, say it. When you don't feel it, pray it. When you don't feel it, just do whatever. Just fake it till you make it. And he's, he followed instruction in spite of his doubts, in spite of his unbelief, verbalizing his unbelief. But he kept coming.